if you love using Instagram, you're probably used to using Linktree or uh, Later's link in bio tool or whatever other tool there is out there to create a page for all your links for Instagram. However, you can easily do this with Squarespace and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can do it. So let's hop right in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Squarespace demo page and I'm going to create a new page under the not linked section and I'm going to call start with a blank page and name it Instagram. So basically what I want to do here is when somebody lands on my LinkedIn bio page, I want to give them an overview of what else I have to offer and what they can find on my website. So to do this, I'm going to add a section. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a blank section with some text and I'm going to name this quick links and I'm going to make that heading two, and then I'm going to add a line here and then I'm going to add a text and let's say we want to link to our work with me page. So I'm going to set this as paragraph one and we're going to pretend that we have a work with me page here. So I'm just going to say work with me, click apply. Then I'm going to add another line and I'm going to add another text. Let's say we also have shop my favorites. Let's say you have an Amazon shop linked up. So I'm going to link this to shop and then I'm going to add another line and I'm going to add another text block and say read the blog. And we're going to link this up to the blog page, of course. So I'm going to click on blog, select the blog and click apply. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another line to make this look nice and I'm going to add a spacer block and drag it all the way uh, until the line fulfills the whole section and I'm going to drop it here and then under this section what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an image and I'm not sure if we have anything. Okay, so we have something in the library. So all right, let's go with planning. So let's go with this one. And let's say that you want to highlight one of your packages that you offer. So what you could do is you can add an image like this and then add a bit of a, a bit, a small blurb about the image itself. So I'm going to add a text block and we're just going to say this is my signature package. Learn more about it here and let's work together. And I'm going to set it as paragraph one and then I'm going to add a button and I'm going to link that up to imaginary link here called signature package. But that's another thing that you can do. And I'm going to center this text like that. And then I'm going to hover until this spacer, uh, until this line appears that separates the two halves of the content. And I'm going to drag it to make the quick links section, or rather I'm going to drag it like this. And I'm going to delete this spacer block. I'm going to make the section smaller. So that's one thing that I'm going to do and I'm going to change the background color to light. And then let's say you want to feature your newsletter. So I'm going to add a blank section and I'm going to say, download my awesome freebie here. And we're going to set that as heading two, center it. And then I'm going to add a newsletter block and then you can connect it. It'll automatically be connected to your Squarespace email campaigns, but you can change this to another 
uh, to MailerLite or uh, Flowdesk or any other uh, newsletter service provider. And I do have a tutorial here on YouTube that walks you through that process. So be sure to click that info card in the corner of your screen to get to that tutorial. And the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the content width to medium and I'm going to change the section and then I'm going to add a nice background image. So I need to search for something nice. Uh, let's see, home office. And we're just going to select this image and then I'm going to increase the overlay opacity so that the text is still visible. And then I'm going to add one more section and we'll make the color white and I'm going to say uh, catch up on latest posts. I'm going to set that as heading two as well. Center it and then I'm going to add a summary block and let's go with home or actually let's go with the fine lifestyle and home. Uh, I should have selected category for more posts but that's besides the point you get the gist of it. And then I'm going to change the design to carousel, set it to four posts. I'm going to get rid of this header text and I'm going to plop a read more link there. And I'm going to add a spacer block so that there's more, a little more room. And I'm going to change the section, the width of the section and the height is fine. And that is how you can create a custom link in bio page. The problem with that is it does not look like a link in bio page because we still have the header and the footer here. So what you need to do next, and I will leave the code for that in the description of the video below, but basically we need to get rid of this header and footer. So to do this, you're going to click on the cogwheel settings icon for the page itself. You're going to go under advanced and you need to be on the business plan for this to work. If it doesn't work, then um, you won't be able to do it. Uh, so you're just going to have to leave the header and footer there. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to post this little bit of code in. What this basically does is it says header, footer, display, none. So basically it tells uh, the browser not to display the header and the footer on your page and we're going to click save and the page will refresh. And as you can see, now there is no header and footer. And now this is looking like a very custom, very on-brand link in bio page. In my opinion, it looks a hell of a lot better than Linktree. And most importantly, it won't, uh, you're not at the mercy of Linktree going down, Linktree not being available or Linktree shutting down. It's all available on your site. You have a lot more customization options because you can use your brand colors and you can showcase the content that you want and link to whatever pieces of your, uh, the pages of your website that you want. And that's basically it. Uh, so that's how you can create a link in bio page on your Squarespace website. And if you want to learn more about how to blog with Squarespace, I do have an entire tutorial that walks you through setting up a blog on Squarespace 7.0 and 7.1. So definitely uh, watch that video next to learn more about it. That's it for today and I'll see you next time.